Greetings, unsettled souls. Uh, we got uh, uh, but a million things to get to here, but I'm just going to zip right into this because I, I had just asked this question. If, if you're familiar with the show, welcome aboard to Correct Views. I'm Sam DeGangie. Please share this. It means a lot right now. Right now, please can share. Um, a couple of days ago, we asked whether or not the the vaccines which were being recalled due to contamination in Japan we had asked the question here on the correct views whether or not anyone had received that vaccination unfortunately uh, we have our answer and it's grim CTV news Japan says two dead after receiving contaminated COVID-19 vaccine doses so uh not only did they, did they get the contaminated poisonous poke, but now it seems uh, they've unfortunately passed on. Two people died after receiving Moderna, Inc. COVID-19 vaccine shots that were among lots later suspended following the discovery of contaminants, uh, Japan's health minister said on Saturday. The men in their 30s uh, died this month within days of receiving their second Moderna dose, the ministry said in a release. Each had a shot from one of the three manufacturing lots suspended on Thursday. The causes of death are being investigated. Uh, Japan halted the use of 1.63 million Moderna doses shipped to 163 vaccination centers nationwide. Uh, more than a week after the domestic distributor Takeda Pharmaceutical Company received reports of contaminants in some vials. Quote, vials, excuse me. At this time, we do not have any evidence that these deaths are caused by the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. No, there never is. Isn't that amazing how that always seems to be the case? I just, I find it rather astounding. It is important to conduct a formal investigation to determine whether there is any connection or to let enough time pass in the news cycle that the 10-minute attention span that everybody has just moves on. The government has also said that no safety or efficacy issues have been identified and the suspension of the three Moderna batches was a precaution. It's believed that some of the, some of the particles found in the virals are metallic particles. Uh, that's according to NH NHK. Now, NHK is usually a site you can now uh, believe things on. As of August 8th, 991 people had died in Japan after receiving shots of Pfizer Inc.'s vaccine, and 11 after receiving Moderna's, but no casualty between the injections and the death has been established. You know what? I'm not going to pretend that I'm a doctor on here, but look. It's very obvious if we have metal contaminants in the vaccines that... To some degree, these are really, really being rushed out. And even if they are 100% as safe as the experts say they are, and you know on this show, we don't want to get the show censored, so they'd never lie to you. The endorsement face. Even if it's as safe as they claim it is, there's obviously some kind of issues going on. Is this isolated to only Japan? You see, the trouble is that people aren't going to ask that question. Because if you ask whether or not this is a bigger problem than just an isolation issue in Japan, people are going to say that you're anti-vax. Isn't it interesting that somehow there has been the cult of the vaccine now? To where if you just ask garden variety questions, people start sizing you up for a straitjacket. How did that happen? Does anybody know? What were the metal contaminants? I know there's a lot of different metal contaminants. How did they get in? Do we know if it's only been in Japan? Do we know if we can stop it from happening in the future? Do we know if it's only in one manufacturer or is it at many different plants? Or how does that work? How are they processed? What chain of command has led to this? Anybody, would you be so kind as to let me know if any of those questions which I asked, were they in any way, shape, matter, or form unreasonable? Because I don't think that they are. 
As a matter of fact, I think these are the kinds of questions that a lot of people have, and it's not so much that they have the questions that may be leading them not to get vaccinated. And you know we support that on this show. It may not even be that. It may be that every time they voice a question or a concern, it's like they're questioning the voice of God in the judgment of the universe or something. It doesn't, it, it, it comes off as really, really creepy. Okay, I saw somebody to whom, uh, online, I saw some comments he left. He's a person to whom I wouldn't care if I never saw him again. He's not that great of a person. He's somebody who has never sided with me on any political issue ever. He's starting to ask these questions now. Wait a minute. Why are we giving money away to get people to do this? Why are we censoring people that ask questions? If this video gets censored, please remember that I told you to get your vaccine because I stand behind their safety and you can believe that that's sincere. If this video gets banned, what's it getting banned for? A bit of parody and some serious questions. Well, there are some serious questions. And even, like I said, even if it's as safe as they say it is, there are the questions which I just laid out, some rather nice posers, I would uh, venture, that need to be answered as it pertains to what happened in Japan and how we can know that it is only Japan. Was it other, was it, did other people get this contamination? And is it something that could happen again? Could it be something that happened in other vials and we don't know? Seems prudent to me. Let me know what you think in the comment line. As always, friends, uh, hit share. Please hit share. Hit subscribe. Let people know that you heard about this. Opera News is the place that really, really helps the show when you watch and share it there. Get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com, friends. Good night. God bless.